Hey everybody, it's Jeff. Welcome to another episode of Stay Rad Wine Blog TV. You know, I've been sitting on these uh, samples right here for a little while, and I think it's time that uh, we finally dive into it. Um, I'm not reviewing your typical type of wine today. Um, I'm not going into your typical types of grapes. I'm not even going into those really just esoteric, just underground type of grapes. Today I'm looking at honey wine. Um, I've got the uh, Golden Wine uh, Company, their Bee Divine Honey Wine, um, and I've got it in two different styles. I've got a Brut, so this is going to be really dry. It's got 0.2% of residual sugar left, and then I also have a Demi Sec, so it's going to be uh, slightly sweet, probably very sweet in comparison to the Brut, uh, at 3% residual sugar. Um, I think both of these are hovering around 12.5% alcohol, but I just thought it'd be neat to get into something just a little bit different. So, you know, I'm not a huge honey wine drinker. I've got a, a my buddy Scott uh, makes his own honey wine every once in a while when he's not making beer. Um, and I've tried that before and it's really good. But I, I do think it's kind of neat to, um, in a way, start to get kind of nerdy about different types of wine. I think honey in particular, just because, you know, depending on where the bees are from, depending on uh, the type of plants that those bees are pollinating, the honey that's being made as a result of that can be completely different from uh, one place to the next. This is all orange blossom honey, uh, mainly from Northern California, from uh, Yolo County and Solano County. Um, there is also some stuff from Tulare County in Central California, but Pretty much this is when we're talking about local honey and the type of wine that could be made with this. When I wine taste, normally I want to save the sweet stuff for later. So let's get into this brute right now. This is the first honey wine on Stay Rad Wine Blog TV. And on the nose, I mean, I'm just getting this typical like floral and sweet type of honey scent. Maybe a little bit of orange skin there. I can I can dig it, right? Yeah, I mean this is uh this is pretty nice. I mean, it's it's definitely not like your uh, typical grape wine. I mean, really what I'm getting here is because it's fermented pretty much to a point of being dry, um, what you're getting are those notes that you may typically miss when you're just putting a honey in your foods. Like there really is this nice um, white floral type of aspect to it. Um, there's almost kind of like a, a waxy type of component on the back end of this. Um, really different and enjoyable. And I, I'd love to, you know, it's neat that I can taste this dry one uh, next to this sweet one and give you a comparison there, but I'd love to see how it would work if we were looking at honey wines that were coming from different types of honey. So maybe this is orange blossom honey. Maybe we try that with some clover honey um, or maybe even orange blossoms from Florida and see how different that could be. But this is really nice stuff. I'm definitely going to save some of this for um, my buddy Scott to try because I think he could kind of compare it to uh, the, the meads that he typically makes. Hmm. Yeah, really nice. So let's see what's going on in comparison to the Demi Sec. So it's going to be a little bit sweeter. My guess is it's going to come across as being a lot sweeter in comparison to that other honey wine. And even on the nose, I, I almost get like a... <clears throat> I almost get a little bit of like a sugary component um, on the nose. Also, um, the aroma is, is a little bit more juicier. I was mentioning kind of like 
maybe an orange zest on uh, that last wine. This one is more of a, uh, it's almost like orange juice, right? Like maybe like orange juice pulp, right? Kind of, kind of that kind of nose. I mean, it's honey, so it's it's very much sweet. Demi sec, meaning it's 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 slightly sweet, but this is very sweet in comparison to um, that brute. And I'd be interested. I'm not sure if um, be divine if they make like just a full on just in your face sugary honey wine, or if this is as sweet as they come. But this is very much a, a dessert style right here. Um, and in some level, it does remind me of, of some of those dessert-like white wines that, that you would typically be used to. I mean, you could put this up, I, I don't want to say like head-to-head -head with Sauterne because that's kind of its own animal, but I could see you treating this the same way. And I think a lot of those same types of pairings um, would be really nice. Um, And you know, I think generally if somebody's thinking about honey wine, maybe they're thinking that this is more of a, a dessert type of play. Um, and this is would be a fantastic after the meal type of thing. Uh, I think it go, actually it might go nice with like some apple pie. I don't know why I'm really thinking about some apple pie right now. Uh, I, wow, I really want some apple pie and I think maybe this wine is what's doing it. Really good stuff. Um, definitely both of these things, uh, both of these things are, are, are really showing like a nice expression of, of different ways that you could treat um, honey when you ferment it. I mean, this is really just honey and spring water and yeast, really. And, and you're coming up with a, a nice, different kind of beverage. And I can dig it, totally. Hey, when's the last time you had a wine made with honey and not grapes? Leave a message. Let me know what you think. Till next time, everybody, stay rad.